Hello, my lovelies. So I had a um, existential crisis in the shower just now, and I want to share it with you. So I am a bit of a hair whore in that I will whore my hair out to any brand that is fucking free. Okay, so like if Laurel is free, if Clairol is free, if Herbalescence is free, if Tresemme is free, I will just put whatever the fuck on my hair with no thought for like my hair. Like, is that shampoo responsible? Is that shampoo going to be loyal? Is that shampoo going to leave my hair in the middle of the night feeling unloved and unvalidated and sticky? I don't give a goddamn. I just buy whatever's fucking free. But y'all, I was in the shower and fucking Herbal Essence clapped back. What's the name of that shampoo? You see it? Long-term relationship. The shampoo is like, bitch, stop whoring your hair the fuck out. Your hair deserves better. Stick with one shampoo. Y'all. Okay, where are my keys? Where are my keys? Why do I always do this? Why do I always do this? It's gotta be. Why don't I just put them in the same place? Okay, got my keys. All right. Now I need my cigarettes and my Febreze. Check. A uh, little bit of something to help me deal with the people. I don't want to deal with people. I don't want to go. I don't want to have to talk to people. I don't want to have to park. I don't want to have to deal with aggressive people in the parking lot. And I definitely don't want to have to deal with aggressive people in the store. And it's going to be full of aggressive people. I don't want to go. I don't want to do this. I don't want to do this. I really don't want to do this. I really don't want to do this, y'all. I really, really don't. Fuck, I gotta do this. Hey guys, quick story time. So I was at my father-in-law's house last night and sleeping in his bed, which is a very nice bed, but at the same time, it's like sleeping on a plank of wood. It was so hard. And the pillows are just decorative. So I'm like laying flat on this like plank of wood with like a Tempur-Pedic pillow board, y'all. I no sleep, okay? I no sleep. So about 3 a.m. while I'm laying there not sleeping, my brain is back and forth, back and forth, back and forth between this movie that I watched called Midsummer, which is actually a really good movie if you like scary movies, and Rick and Morty. Back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. And all of a sudden, it's like, Shauna, you should do a series on TikTok. Hashtag, just try to be nice, where you go out of your way to do good deeds and nice things for people. And everybody does it. Like, I'll show you simple, easy ways to just try to be nice, and then you go out and do those simple kind of nice things to be nice. And then hashtag just try to be nice, and let's make it a big thing where everybody just tries to be nice. Story time. So when I was a kid, I was raised by TV. And when I say that I was raised by TV, I am legit not joking. My mom was passed out all the time or gone at a bar or with a man. And my dad was not there. He like literally just was like, I'm out and left. So when me and my brother literally had TV to raise us. So y'all, there were some really good shows back then. And if you don't know about them, I want to educate you. My absolute favorite was all the PBS shit. Mr. Rogers, Julia Child, Justin Wilson, This Old House, Bob Ross, like 321 Contact, Sesame Street. The list goes on and on and on. I love me some PBS. Another great one is a show called Fraggle Rock. Another great one is a show called Fairy Tale Theater with Shelley Duvall. Another great Hello, one. my lovelies. This is part two of TV shows that you need to stop everything, drop everything, run, and go watch. And this one gets its whole freaking minute because it is worth it. It's a show called My So-Called Life. It has a very young Claire Danes and a very young Jordan, Ca uh, uh, Jordan Castellano. It is a very young... His name is Jordan Castellano in the show, but his name is Jared Leto. The same Jared Leto from Suicide Squad 20 years ago. 
was an amazing character on the show. So please, if you think you like Jared, if you think you like Jared Leto from Suicide Squad, do yourself a favor and check out My So-Called Life. But the best thing about My So-Called Life was that there was a character on there. It was Angela's best friend and his name was Ricky and he was gay and he was out and he was proud and he was flamboyant and it was fucking amazing to see representation back then because it wasn't a thing. It wasn't a thing. And they didn't give a crap about whether censors would like it. If view, if they lost viewers, they didn't care. And that made me love the show. All right, guys, here's so part three of TV shows that you should stop, run, and watch right now. Another one is... A All right, guys, here is uh, my sci-fi version of TV shows that you need to drop everything and watch right now. Number one is a show called V. Just the letter V. Nothing else, just V. Trust me, it's fucking amazing. They did a TV miniseries and then a movie and then a, like two seasons. It's great. It's great. It's great. And then another show is called Alien Nation. And it's about, it's a cop show. It's like a detective show. Because in the concept, the aliens come down to Earth and they like assimilate and become part of our society. And this takes place, the show takes place like after that happened. And so there's just like a buddy, it's like a buddy cop show with an alien cop and a regular cop. And I know it sounds crazy, but trust me, it's fucking amazing. And another really good show is a show called The Profiler about a criminal pro profiler who's chasing like a serial killer great 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 show hands down best show but look trust me y'all need to go watch v because of mark singer's acting alone his acting is so good all right hello lovelies so these are just a few of my um previous bullet journals along the years i've been doing it for about i don't know three or four years pretty consistently and some of these are, as you can see, some of them are thicker than others. <laughs> but uh, we'll be moving soon, and I have to I have to pack all these up, like pack them up, pack them up. So I thought I would uh, share some of them with you, because people keep asking about my bullet journals. And uh, I'm about to show y'all, but bitches, you've been warned. You've been warned. I don't play when it comes to the bee, the bougie, or the bullet. I take it very seriously, and it's a hobby I take a lot of time with, so you may be upset with, like, 500 videos about bullet journals, but y'all bitches ask for it. Y'all ask for it. Hey, guys. So, it's Christmas night, and my father-in-law had to have um, heart surgery two weeks ago, and his girlfriend, fiance, has to go be with her family. So, we have to stay in, him, in the house with him to make sure he's safe in his... uh Spare guest room, y'all. Spare guest room, y'all. <sighs> this is um, my husband's family's idea of a spare guest room, y'all. Like, I swear to God, people. This is a fucking, like... People. People. Oh shit, I didn't see the closet on the other side of the other fucking closet, y'all. Bitches, I'd be at family dinner with these people looking at them like, Apar Dipper Dak? Scabbard? <sighs> hey guys, so I'm in my attic shooting for my uh, bullet journal, and I thought I would show you this really, really old, vintage Boy Scout first aid kit. And according to this book, it is from 1946. See? Copyright. Or 1942. But according to this book, it is from 1926. So I don't know which one, but I don't think some of these existed in the 20s. We've got a Red Cross bandage, a bigger Red Cross bandage, some Mercurochrome. Guys, this is legit opium. It's literally opium. It literally says opium, opium on it. But I, I, don't, I, I don't, it's dried up. It's like, so I don't think it's anything that I have to worry about, like, getting busted. But that's what it is. And like... Holy crap, Boy Scouts had access to opium in the 40s? Anison, aspirin, a couple band-aids, smelling salts, and a thing of Vaseline. And I got this all at a store in Stanley County for five bucks. It's a really cool vintage store.